y'all, it's your girl Makeda Janae here, back with another video, and in today's video, I will be doing an October's favorites. I know I'll be skipping so many months when doing my favorites, but I'm finally back with another favorites video. I kind of forgot how I did them, so I'm just going to be throwing a little bit of everything in there. So, let's just hop right into my favorites. First, I want to start off with my favorite book of the month. It is Notes from a Young Black Chef, nonfiction, and it is like a memoir of this young black chef's life. He lived in like the New York Upper East Coast area, and he just tells his story of opening up his own restaurant, you know, being black in the food industry, what that's all about. And I just love reading about people. I definitely recommend this book. It's actually not expensive at Barnes & Noble. I read it on my library library app but this book was actually pretty good so now let me go to my favorite songs of October so I do have a regular rap song this time surprise surprise it is balling by I think DJ mustard and Roddy rich So that is definitely the song that I listen to the most. It is the only new song that is in my playlist right now. But of course, if I'm gonna throw in a secular, I have to share with you guys one of the many Christian rap songs I played a lot in the month of October. Laurel, Someone Like Me featuring Dominique Davis. This song just speaks to me and this is of course a Christian artist. I was trying to keep it gangster, do whatever for the pay, gain the world to lose I think I'm gonna add another one because I'm just like I should do a whole playlist video I will do that soon I know I've been saying that okay so it's DJ Michael V Switches. It's hooty, I be no hooty. Ride for the win, now they act like they knew me. You still on Tucci, there ain't no new me. I'm still the same, and you know that the crew be. Cortez and the YT, so Tiki's that money. But we pray for this. We was destined for this. Yo, guess what? That's right, this me now. Now let's get into makeup. One thing that I discovered in October was microfiber towels to take off my makeup. This was such a blessing to me in this month because your girl got tired of paying for makeup remover wipes and I just wet them up with warm water and the makeup just comes right off. I have some makeup on it right now and it is just so convenient and they're so soft and plush and it works so well. If you guys are watching my fashion videos, you saw that I did a haul on my more brushes that I got I got the eye set for like $30 it completely changed my makeup game these brushes are so awesome they're so fluffy and it's just showing me that getting the good quality materials and the appropriate you know brushes bases for your makeup changes it so as you can see I don't know if y'all noticed but my makeup skills have definitely gotten better once I got these new brushes it's just like such a difference because one thing to market myself and market my skills is how I'm doing my makeup on myself so I have to make sure I'm looking good and snatched at all times I didn't want to like have to buy brushes one by one because that can get expensive too so I'm happy Morphe had this little kit another makeup item that I have been loving in the month of October is this new base. This is a Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I went a shade lighter. I got the shade Create. So this is like not the lightest one but the middle one. So this was another thing that made my eyeshadows much more pigmented. You guys know I love colorful eyeshadows so if you guys are into makeup please invest in this Cut Crease Canvas and Makeup Revolution is a drugstore brand so it's not even expensive. I think this runs for $9 but I actually got this for, for $4 at Ulta but this is compared to the P. Louise base which is like a overseas brand and I did not feel like paying shipping and handling for all that so I found a perfect little dupe in this product 
And my last makeup favorite of the month is my James Charles palette. I probably have had this as a favorite before, but like I said, now that I got new brushes and a new base, this product works so much better for me. It has a lot of fallout, I will say that, but now that I have the right materials to go with this palette, it has opened up a whole new array of possibilities for me. So it has been so good to me, but they have even colors in here that I can do my eyebrows with. They have two perfect browns in here for my brows. They just like have a color for everything. So this palette is a great all-in-one palette It's something awesome to add into my makeup kit whenever I start to take clients and they have a mini that came out So for all of you guys that did not get this big boy right here James Charles put out a mini palette with Ulta I mean with Morphe and it's at also for $26. So add that to your Christmas list Use a coupon to get it, like do what you have to do, but this palette is definitely great, so I do recommend that you get it. I've been using it all October, and I think I even used it in my Halloween look that I did record a video on. I was bougie. Yeah, that was super fun. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Next, I'm going to move on to hair. I have one hair product that is my favorite, and it will always be my favorite, but I have to switch and go back to the OG. It is the Blue Magic conditioning hair dress good old-fashioned grease you guys know I was using the coconut oil grease during the summer and when my hair was still long but now that my hair is short and it's mainly curly like it, it's just very very curly my scalp was super dry I did a whole video about bringing my hair back to life you know doing some hair CPR and the thing that saved my hair in the month of October was blue magic blue grease I needed something more thicker I needed something to coat my hair and scalp like it was unbelievable once this weather changed in my city my scalp got super dry there was dandruff everywhere I needed something to be thicker than the coconut grease so I went back to this and I'm so happy I did because it works wonders I haven't been having any problems if you guys did not know I will be getting a relaxer soon so stay tuned for that my favorite nail polish of the month of October is the Sally Hansen mega shine top coats I am a big fan of Sally Hansen's top coats this is one of my favorites I love really really shiny nails this stuff is so good I really enjoy it it makes my nails so so shiny but I absolutely love this clear coat if you guys are looking for a good clear try out Sally Hansen you don't always have to use an OPI or something like that Sally Hansen has been doing it for years and they do it well honey another thing that I have been doing in the month of October is shopping I have been needing clothes for such a long time my newfound favorite store is Play-Doh's Closet. I have been utilizing Play-Doh's Closet and Clothes Mentor to the max. This shirt I actually got from there. I got this cute, cute sweater for only $10. For you guys know I always wanted to thrift, wanted to thrift, but I never like got around to it. So that store has definitely been my best friend. You're gonna see some hauls coming up from Clothes Mentor and Play-Doh's Closet. Make sure you're following your city's Clothes Mentor and Play-Doh's Closet on Instagram because they post the new stuff they have. So that is definitely a plus. Another place that I've been going frequently is Five Below. Recently I got an iPad case. So now I got this super cute case that matches my phone case. Like I am in love. Look at that. I love when things are matching. So like I love Five Below. That's where I got my yoga mat from. I did a whole video on why you guys should be shopping at Five Below. So stay tuned for that. But I'm so happy that I got an iPad case. I absolutely love it. It comes in clutch. So I think that is all for this month's favorites, the month of October. Let me know what are some of your favorites in the month of October. Hello to all my new subscribers. What's good? I haven't talked to y'all in a while. Make sure y'all are commenting. Like, I want to know what made you subscribe to my channel. I have so many things going on here. So let me know which are your favorites so I can continue to put stuff like that out. I'm going to holler at y'all when I see you next.